So what we did in the land map was um, homogenize the degree of molecular profiling, the test that we are actually using, and we took quite a bold step in using next generation sequencing as the screening test rather than one mutation. Um, and then um, by uh, providing homogeneous population but actually designing different clinical trials for each subset, we are providing an opportunity conceptually to every patient that screens for this clinical trial to participate in a clinical trial targeting the alteration that is a, a driver in their tumor or if they don't have that alteration actually offering them alternative and quite promising therapy, in this case immunotherapy. So we believe that this is a more efficient way to get drugs to the patients safely and hopefully effectively and get drug approvals. The other difference in this clinical trial is that it has an integrated design, phase two to three smooth transition, so the patients that are enrolled in the phase two portion of the clinical trial count towards the phase three total population. Therefore, we have less wasted time and all participants in the clinical trial are contributing towards potential approval of the agent. So I think the benefit is both ways, or actually three ways. It is a benefit to the um, patients, um, it's a benefit to the academic community because we can speed up things and get um, a lot of questions answered at the same time. And then thirdly, there is a benefit to um, uh, the pr industry part participants uh, because we are providing quite a homogeneous population of patients around the United States with rigorous criteria and same um, degree of scrutiny and quality in the clinical trial that they can actually put their agents to the test. So I think everybody wins in this scenario.